Hi everybody, welcome back to What's in the Box with Bargain Boater. Today we're gonna to talk about a Coos fuel sender, fuel level sender, fluid level sender. You can call it a lot of different things. At my shop, we use it for fuel tanks. You could use it for uh, water tanks and other things like that too. The long and short of it is, it is a fuel sender. I'm gonna take it out of the package and show you what it looks like and then we'll talk about why and what you do with it. All right. So this one happens to be a nine inch fluid sender. You'll see it's got a float, a stainless steel shaft, a mounting surface. If you look at the mounting surface, it's got screw holes in it. It has a wire lead and it consists of two wires, a pink and a black, which is pretty prototypical for a fuel sender. Uh, the way that it works is that it has incremental magnetic sensors inside of it. So as this little float with metal in it, moves up and down it triggers a reading at your fuel gauge or your water level gauge if you use it for that um, cool thing to note with these is if you're putting it in a gas tank and it's a plastic gas tank plastic gas tanks like to sag a little bit so you're going to want to leave at least one inch below this so when you measure your tank one solid inch um, of reserve. If you're using a metal tank, we can go as low as a half inch reserve. We don't want this touching the bottom of the tank or rubbing. So when you dip your tank and take a measurement, you're going to take a measurement from the bottom of the sender or the, the dead top of the tank to the bottom of the tank and then leave yourself a half inch or an inch depending on which type tank you have. Most of these senders don't come with a gasket in them at all. Um, at our place, you'll get them with a Viton gasket. So they could also come with a cork gasket. We don't offer that one. It just doesn't hold up as well to today's ethanol fuels. So we go ahead and include a Viton style gasket and we'll take that out of the package here real quick. So you'll see it comes with screws with a washer and that washer actually has a rubber isolator on it as well, which is a little different from most screws supplied in most kits. So you got four of those. Uh, actually, no, you don't. You have five of those. And you also have this Viton gasket. And Viton is basically a type of rubber that's resistant to certain kinds of fuels and chemicals. Uh, so that's everything that comes in the kit. And if you want to have more information on how to install this or why or how you might select a different one, because they come from uh, five inches all the way up to a custom length of whatever you may need, 50 inches or more in half inch increments. Um, you can stop by bargainboater.com or visit us on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook to get more helpful tips on how to work with this product or any of the other things that we offer too. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.